Alrighty, yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Mr. DDG94 here back with another reaction video. And today we finna react to Cedric, the Cedric the Entertainer unaired pilot. We're gonna see why Cedric the Entertainer didn't get picked up. <laughs> and I know every pot, I know everybody in the world still is like, if you still hate no Cedric the Entertainer, because of that Cat Williams interview. I feel sorry for you. Because I'm going to say it once and I'm going to say it again. Cat Williams made it a hot line. Cedric made it a hot song. I don't care what anybody say. Cedric did that joke 10 times better than Cat did. Even though he did steal it. Stealing the joke is bad. Bad. That's bad. You can't steal people jokes. But if you make it a, but if a nigga make it a hot line and you make it a hot song. I can't really be bad at you. <laughs> Anyways, let's get right into this. Hey, how you doing, fellas? We'd be doing a lot better if you weren't cutting our lawn, is it? <laughs> oh, you think I'm the gardener? No, I live here, man. Right, and I'm Mark Anthony. Me and JLo live right over there. Hold on, 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 hold on. Why they got homeboy for Bernie Mac showing here? What the fuck going on here? Don't tell me y'all was stealing niggas' side characters too, dawg. I know y'all hated Bernie Mac, but I know y'all wasn't stealing this nigga's side characters. Alright, dawg. Y'all, I'm starting to believe y'all niggas was really hating on Bernie. I'm about to take back what I said. Y'all about to make me take back exactly what I just gave this nigga props. Y'all about to make me take back... Oh my god, bruh. I hope y'all didn't rip off Bernie Mac show like this, dog. Cedric, I knew you was a hater, but I didn't know you was a hater like this, nigga. You stole his side character? Come on, dog. And this guy's the mayor. <laughs> no, for real, man. This is my house, you know. I own it. Hey, Mr. Stokes. Here's your mail. See? My mail, my house. Oh, and your wife said she would sign this copy of her book for me. I am a huge fan. Okay. Eduardo. That's your wife? The domestic diva lady? <laughs> now it makes sense. She owns the house. <laughs> we'll come back and talk to her. Oh, you don't have to talk to her. I'm the man of this house. And as the man, I'm passing on your services. Passing? Everybody in Beverly Hills uses Eduardo's triple diamond landscaping. Everybody. Is that a threat, little man? Andale, vámonos! Oh, fuck no. Oh, fuck no. You dead. <laughs> oh, fuck no. Welcome to Beverly Hills, fool. This ain't the wood right here. Yeah. Hey, babe, can you zip me up? Oh, yeah. You know it's a lot more fun zipping you down. <laughs> <laughs> Preston, you are so bad, and I like you it. You like that, don't you? Yes, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 baby, no. Oh, you know what, baby? It's work. I have to take this. <sighs> hey, Alan, what's up? <laughs> what? No, my name is going on these products. At the very least, it should be spelled correctly. <laughs> yes, it's a big deal. Hey, you got a big deal going right here. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. No, 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 no. It's their no, mistake. Yeah, We're not paying for it. I'll pay for it. Just get off your phone. Uh-huh. Good morning, my little chickadees. Whoa. Whoa, those new laptops? Where'd y'all get those? Mom got them for us. They're pretty tight, huh? <laughs> what do you mean, Mom got them for you? I don't remember you two asking me about this. We didn't. You would have said no. <laughs> That's right, because I'm not raising you to be a bunch of freeloaders. Look, 
If you want expensive things, you gotta work hard. You get good grades and you earned them. That's the Stokes family way. They don't change just because we moved to Beverly Hills. But dad, mom's book was a bestseller. This magazine says she's the next Rachel Ray. And she has her own product line coming out. Whoo, we got mad cash. <laughs> Your mother and I got a couple of dollars. You two would be on the cover of Dead Broke magazine. Damn. Cause y'all dead broke. Damn. Well, go ahead, get your stuff together. You're gonna miss your bus. All right, I'll see you in 30. Emotional damage! Did you get the kids' computers? Uh, yeah, baby. I needed them for school, so I just bought them. Yeah, I, I think they should give them back. You know, we usually talk about these kind of things. Baby, I know. I am sorry. I have just been so busy lately. Man, what's wrong with your kids having the computers, man? They probably got yeah. book reports. Oh, and by the way, I invited the neighbors over for dinner this weekend. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not the white people that's always walking real fast. <laughs> They're speed walking, and their names are Grant and Missy, and they're very nice. Ah, oh, babe, come on. I don't want to spend my whole night eating cheese, listening to Sarah McLachlan music. Baby, I know, but it's one night, and as soon as they leave, it's right back to Al Green, a little love and happiness, you know what I mean? All right, so just don't make any plans for Saturday night. Saturday? Oh, no. No, 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 no. I was having the guys over. We're going to watch the fight. No. Baby, come on. You can see those guys anytime. You work with them. Now look, we're new here. We need to represent ourselves right. And in case you haven't noticed, we're the only black people in this whole neighborhood. That's not true. What about Angelina Jolie's kids? That's fucked up. That's a fucked up joke right there. Justin, please. Come on now, dog. Okay. Come on, man. Uh, That's kind of a fucked up right, joke kids, right come there. On. Kids, come on. What, what, what's going on? Where y'all going? Oh, mom's taking us to school in a new Escalade. Yeah, mom's the man. Peace. <laughs> And you know what? That little Spielberg boy, black too. <laughs> Wiz, can I talk to you? Excuse me. What's up, Pete? You never filled out the TRD on the Gomez account. I need this. Pete, I'm about to get baby girl number. You are ruining my flow. Yo, flow? This ain't chocolate singles, bro. Do you? your job. All right. Oh, look, by the way, I had to cancel the fight on Saturday. Darlene invited the neighbors over for dinner. From Not ain't. the white people that be out walking real fast. <laughs> Come on, P. I'm your boy from way back. Look, you know, if it was up to me, you'd be there, but, you know. So it's not up to you. Oh. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. You knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I'm just saying, your wife's making all the bank now, so it's only natural that you might start developing certain qualities, you know? Certain qualities that might even be considered bitch-like in nature. Whoa. Oh, hey, hey, yo. Hey, yo. You me a bitch? Hey, yo. bitch-like. You ain't got to make it ugly, P. Me personally, I wouldn't take this level right, of the disrespect. Of my castle. Always have been, always will be. Okay. <laughs> it is okay. And just so you know, I'm happy for Darlene's success. And she's happy for mine. Yours. <laughs> you do understand your office is in a garage. <laughs> <laughs> your office in a garage, mine out here. <laughs> First one pretty quick. Oh, I would love some more. My nose is killing me. I had a deviated septum. Mm. Oh. Oh, who am I kidding? It's a nose job. <laughs> well, to uh, Missy's new nose. Huh? Oh. <laughs> and to the success of Darlene's book. Mm. 
I have to tell you guys, we are just tickled to be living next door to a big-time celebrity author. Well, actually, you're living next door to the Stokes family. We're just regular people. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I did not mean to imply in any way that you people are not regular. Okay, now... The fuck you mean, you people? Another coon. Damn coons. I gotta do a coon analysis and a coon screening. It only takes a little bit of white brainwash to activate the coon chip in the I average of your pardon. <laughs> the fuck you mean, you people? No, 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 not like that. No, look, oh, look, what I'm trying to say is that we are completely fine with having neighbors who are Afro American, African American, you know, black. People of color. I have no idea what to call them right now. Just don't call me nigger. We'll be good. I am so sorry. He's a little nervous. He's always wanted a black friend. Yeah. I played golf with Danny Glover once, but nothing came of it. I blew it. Yeah. I'm an idiot. Great, 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 great. Relax, man. It's cool, man. I get you. Really? Yes, oh, right. thank you, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> Okay, okay so that, was, that, was that was actually wait, funny. That was actually wait, funny. That was actually funny. I don't give. I, I give her that no, one. That was actually wait, funny. Wait, baby, you're not grilling tonight. Of course I'm grilling, baby. I always grill. Remember our wedding, right? You tell them about the wedding. She tell y'all about our wedding. No. I fired up my grill, right? I, hamburgers, hot dog, fish sticks. It was, it was the best wedding slash pool party slash fish fry in the history of Inglewood. Oh. How you put fish sticks on a grill? No, that it was. But no, no, no. I meant you don't have to grill. I splurged and called a caterer. The food is on its way. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. And there's something else I splurged on. A new gardener. <laughs> Missy turned me on to him. Oh, Eduardo is the best. <laughs> to Eduardo! To Eduardo! I love your I'm serious. And you can eat up. <laughs> you know what, man? You were right. Darlene's trying to take over the relationship. First, she gets the kids' computers without talking to me. What's wrong with then the kids having a computer? won't even let me grill. And they're gonna hire a gardener, dog. The lawn, man. Come on. What? And after all that, she expects me to thank her in the bedroom like I'm some piece of meat. That's a power move right there, dog. Wow, you don't even see how she coming at you. You see, whoever controls the bedroom really controls the relationship. So if you want to be in control, you're gonna need to do something drastic. Starting tonight, you going on a sex embargo. <laughs> sex embargo? Mm-hmm. You need to shut this area down right here. That's right. You need to keep the jack in the box. <laughs> Weird. That's got to be the most ridiculous thing I ever heard you say, man. Uh, come on, think about it, Pete. <laughs> Women do it to men all the time. Hell, Darlene's done it to you. Remember Rudy's bachelor party? When you came home with the stripper glitter all over your face? <laughs> How long did it take you till she gave you some after that? It was like a couple of weeks. <laughs> you know, that glitter don't wash right off. <laughs> I kept getting in trouble. <laughs> exactly. And for two weeks, you did everything you could to get back on a good side, didn't you? Bought her chocolates. I rubbed her feet. Why steal magnolias? Steal magnolias, dog. Because she had the power. You were sex embargoed and didn't even know it. Damn. Well, you better man up. Hey, babe, I'm gonna go to bed, all right? Good night. Babe, it's early. I didn't even get to tell you about my day. Ah, uh, I had that big meeting, you know, the one with the board of directors? Mm -hmm. And I was so nervous. Good God. So I did that thing. You know where you picture everyone in their underwear? Oh, Lord. <laughs> and I swear, it didn't work. It was just... Jesus. The chocolate. You know? I can't resist. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good night, babe. I, I, I can't resist. I can't resist. I can't resist. Good God. <laughs> Give me the keys to my car, dog. You ain't going nowhere. Get up off me, girl. See, there you go again. Bring your ass downstairs, showing off in front of these fucking neighbors. Get your ass back upstairs. Fuck you and these neighbors. I hate you. I hate your ass, too. I love you. I 
Hey, why are you all the way over there? This is my spot. Well, wouldn't it be more comfortable if you came over to uh, my spot? Yes. <laughs> nah. I'm cool with my spot. <laughs> no, you tripping. I'm going over there. You sure? <laughs> oh, you don't feel sure. Hey, okay. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Listen, no means no, okay? All right, I'm not a machine, baby. You're a freaky ass nigga. So okay. All right, okay? Good night. See you in the morning. Hey, what's all this? I thought you had an early meeting. I did. I canceled it. You seemed a little stressed out the past couple of days, so I just wanted to do something special for my man. Mr. Stokes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Same though. Yeah. Dad, look, we had a long talk with Mom, and we decided to take the computers back. We should have asked you before we got them. And? We're sorry. We're sorry. <laughs> OK. All right. What's wrong with the kids now, having computers, though? Since your kids did the right thing, I'm going to go ahead and let you keep the computers. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Who the best? You are. Uh, number one, Dad. Yeah. Put that on your blogs. <laughs> oh, Baby, mm. that was so sweet. Can I get you anything else? No, babe, you know what? I'm good. OK. <laughs> yeah, I'm real good. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with Frazier? <laughs> he cool, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, come on, Rep. You own this jersey. Oh. oh, man, dudes used to do that to me when I played pro ball. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I understand, but I understand, but you know, how else they supposed to do their book reports? You know what I'm saying? I understand that, but you know. If she making good money, it really shouldn't matter. You got to do right by the kids. The kids going to always have needs. And them laptops is, they not, they not, a, they not a need, but they kind of are a necessity. Even if this is back in the times. I wish I did. I wish I did, boy. I'll be. Tss. I wouldn't be living you here. Professional basketball? Oh Lord, here we go. <laughs> I played two years with the Bulls. Really? The Istanbul. <laughs> this fool played in Turkey, man. Oh, P, man. Yo, these are off the hook. Hell did Darlene make them? <laughs> From scratch. <laughs> <laughs> so you still got on the sex embargo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Two weeks I ain't had sex with my wife, dog. Two. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> God damn. God, hold it down. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. You said you're not having sex with her, and this is a, this is a good thing? I don't... Um... <laughs> Grant, Grant, Grant. It's all part of the bigger picture, man. Ever since I had on the sex embargo, you know, she been cooking for me, showing me respect. I even got control of the TV. I ain't watched Grey's Anatomy in two weeks. <laughs> I just, I, you know, the, I don't see the correlation here, this sex embargo thing. It just doesn't seem logical, that's all. Logical. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out, man. Hey, Darlene, would you come here for a second? Baby, what you need? Can I get a little more iced tea, baby? Oh. You know, and uh, I still got that kink in my neck from the other day. You mind, you know, oh, rubbing that goodness. out a little bit? I don't know why I rubbed it for so long yesterday. <laughs> Does that feel better? Much. <laughs> love you, babe. I love you, too. <laughs> okay, you just let me know if you need anything else. 
you get the house in order. <laughs> me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. Teach me. Hey, babe, it's me. My lunch meeting canceled today, so I was thinking maybe we could meet back at the house for a little afternoon delight. Hold on, babe. She's trying to meet me for a little midday jump off. Stay strong. Uh, okay, okay, I gotta go, okay? All right, love you. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> Tripping. He tripping, dog. He tripping. I'm tearing that ass up. I don't care what anybody say. I'm tearing that ass up. <laughs> I'm tearing that ass up. No questions asked. See, I mean, yeah, I got some Taco Bell. Yep. That only thing open. <laughs> hey, D. I'm gonna go ahead and go to bed, baby. I had some questionable chicken for lunch today. Could be trichinosis. <laughs> oh, damn. She had whipped mahogany on me. <laughs> she knows that's my kryptonite. Stay strong, P. Give me the keys to my car, dog. You ain't going no way. You're for me, girl. See, there you go again. There you go again. There you go again. Fuck you, Amy. That's not how you do. I hate your ass, too. I love you. I love you so much. What was it? Keep my jack in the box. Yes, yes. I can't. I'm sorry, baby. I can't. What the hell is going on, Preston? I have been running around for two weeks trying to figure out what's wrong with you. You want to know what's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. I put you on a sex embargo. A sex embargo? Yeah, that's right. You were trying to take over the relationship, so I had to shut this area down right here. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I knew you were up to something, but I didn't think it would be something this ridiculous. Darlene, things were starting to get out of hand. I had to let you know that I was the man around here. Oh, and you did that by not having sex with me. Hey, this the only weapon I got. I'm sorry I had to put it on you like that, but it's wartime. Wartime? Are you listening to yourself, Preston? Sit down. Sit down, darling. For 15 years, I supported this family. I took pride in that. Back in Inglewood, we were a team, you know, and that worked for me. Now I'm happy for your success. I really am. But you going out splurging, hiring gardeners, and stopping me from grilling, <laughs> getting the kids' computers without talking to me, I got to be honest with you. You know, this whole new situation and all this stuff. It's starting to get in the way of what we had. You're right. For 15 years, you have provided for this family. But for the first time in my life, I am making money now. And hiring a gardener and doing all those things, that was just my way of thanking you for all that you've done. But I don't want all of this stuff to hurt what we have. That's what I'm saying, babe. Yeah, OK. Then we agree. I say we get rid of it. Get rid of what? His logic is very selfish. I will say that. This is very selfish logic. You should be happy that, <clears throat> that you got a woman that can even afford this shit. Especially when it comes to your kids, bro. Your kids should always have the best. That's the number one thing about being a parent. Your kids should always have the best. Regardless of how much it costs. What? Just, you know... <laughs> Get rid of all this stuff, you know? Go back to Inglewood, you know? Go back to the way things were. Whoa, thi whoa, 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 whoa. Did nobody say all that? <laughs> I was saying it was causing problems that we need to work out. You're not listening, you know? <laughs> OK? Because, you know, to be honest with you, 
I don't think I'm ready to live without this. <laughs> Preston, what am I gonna do with you? <laughs> you can start by putting that wig back on. <laughs> it's been like two weeks. I'm starting to see double. <laughs> it's two of me now, baby. Come get it. <laughs> Oh, hell no, nah. you getting the pussy dry with that. Red roses too. You getting the pussy dry with Lou Ross. RP to the brother, but nah. For me and you, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. <laughs> Honey, I didn't say I had a thing for Louis Armstrong. Hell no, no diddy, no diddy, D Wiz. Hey yo, D Wiz. The white dude that ride the bike. No diddy. Yes. You know I thought I may have heard you wrong, so uh, I had a backup plan. <laughs> hey yo. Let's ride, baby. Hey yo. In the bed with the shoes on is wild. <laughs> ABC was going to pick that up? Ah, oh, damn. I see why they didn't pick that up. You, it, was, it wasn't necessary. It wasn't necessary. Oh, man. But no, nah, it, it, was, it was solid. Don't get me wrong, it's still, once again, it's solid, it's basic. But putting that on ABC, where you already got my wife and kids. Nah, I'm sorry, nah. Nah, I wouldn't have put that on ABC, especially when you got my wife and kids already on the, on the, uh, on the network in the in the rotation that wouldn't have worked because that shit would have easily got overshadowed yeah i think i think yeah it was a good show i think this show would have worked better if they sent it to somewhere like cbs I think CBS would have benefited from a show like this. I think CBS would have benefited from a show like this versus ABC who already had my wife and kids around that time. Cause this, this, this definitely wouldn't, this definitely would have got lost in the shuffle compared to what ABC had at the time. ABC had hella shows at the time. And I think my wife and kids already being established on there. I think this show would have got lost in the shuffle. But yeah, that's just go about do it for this one. I'll see y'all next video. Till then, peace out. All right.